I'm going to show you how to use the Adobe Illustrator Pen Tool. The Pen Tool is a very powerful tool and it will allow you to make vector-based drawings for illustrations or drawings. Okay, let's start out by selecting the Pen Tool. It's the topmost tool in the Pen Toolbox. You'll notice that if you hold down your mouse button you'll see a nested menu with several other tools so select the topmost tool which is the pen tool or you can also press the letter P. We'll start out by drawing straight lines that's the easiest thing to do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click once and that lays down an anchor point then when you click again anywhere you'll get a straight line between the two anchor points like this. If you keep clicking you'll continue to get straight lines between the anchor points. When you're finished drawing, be sure to click on the selection tool and what that will do, it will select your drawing and you click off into the background that deselects your drawing or your path and then that will allow you to draw something else without continuing on. If you don't do this, then you'll get a line from your last anchor point into a new one that you might create. The next path that we're going to learn how to create is a curve. And we do that again by selecting the pen tool. We click to get an anchor point, but we hold down and drag out a handle. Now notice that I can pull this handle wherever I want to. This handle tells Illustrator where to draw the curve that will link up to the next anchor point. So learning how to pull these handles out it will become important to controlling your curves and with a little bit of practice it will become second nature it'll just be part of your drawing process click drag the handle out 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 and see that I can get a nice continuous line with curves by using this method of clicking, dragging the handle out, and then clicking, dragging the handle out again. When you're finished drawing, select your selection tool again to select your path. Deselect by clicking in the background, or you can hit the V key, which is a shortcut. The next thing I want to show you is that you can use the shift key when you're pulling out your handles. This will constrain it to straight perpendicular or horizontal lines or 45s. Uh, this is also what will happen when you're drawing. So what I'll do is I'll start out by holding the shift key down, constraining the line. You can see that it, it moves to a perfectly up and down uh, position. And then I can go over and lay in my next anchor point and I'm clicking and dragging but holding down the shift key that constrains it and I can get more uniform curves this way. Press the V key so that it enacts the selection tool and deselect your line. With the V key selected, I'm going to drag over all my paths and hit the delete key and that will delete everything that we've done so far. And I'm going to show you how to close paths. Closing paths is important. It allows you to properly fill your shapes that you create with patterns or colors. In the first example, I'm going to just draw some straight lines. So I'll select the pin tool, click, add an anchor point, click, get a straight line. This time I'm going to hold down the shift key to show you that it will constrain the line to a horizontal line. Click, and then when we get back to our first point, watch a hover over the anchor point, and you'll see a little circle that appears. That lets you know that you're going to close the path and then I'll click and that closes the path. Okay, let's try closing a path with curves. So I'm going to click drag out a handle, click drag out another anchor handle, 
click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Now I'm going to hover back over the first point, see the little circle, click, and then it's closed. And you'll see that I'll be able to come over and select a color. We'll use black and you'll notice that it's properly filled with no breaks. Next I'm going to show you how to reverse a curve. Uh, often when you're drawing, uh, you'll be drawing your curves and then you'll need to reverse or make a sharp angle. And we do that by holding down the Option key if you're using a Macintosh or the Alt key if you're using a PC. I'll select my pen tool and start drawing some curves just as we did previously. Only this time when I get to one of the curves I want to reverse it. So I'm going to hold down the Option key or the Alt key for PC and notice I get a little V-shape icon and you'll notice in the pen tool drop down that this is the convert anchor point tool icon. With the option or alt key pressed down I then drag down the handle that's showing which reverses the curve and now I'm able to make a sharp angle another direction. Okay let's try that again. I'm going to draw a couple of curves then I want to change direction so I hold down the alt key for PC or option for Mac. Hold it down grab the anchor point handle, change it to another direction and then click and drag out my next anchor point and I have changed directions. Let's do it again. I'll start out by drawing a regular curve. Come on up to my next anchor point. Hold down the option or alt key. Drag down a handle and then I can reverse making a scallop type path. All right, so let's pull our techniques together here. And uh, what we'll do is I'm going to start a new layer. And what I would normally do is bring in a drawing. But I've created the drawing for you here. Uh, but what you do is you would normally do a hand-drawn sketch of some kind, maybe scan it, and then go up to the File menu and place it and put it into a layer. And then what you would do is you would normally lock your layer to make sure that you don't move this around because you don't want to do that if you're going to be tracing over the top and which is what we're going to be doing. And you can notice that I cannot move this now. You see this pencil with the no sign through it. So that's what we want to do first when we're normally doing a tracing or a drawing over our own hand drawings. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And what I'll do is I'll create a new layer from the menu here, create a new layer. It's from the layers menu. And then I want to rename it. And you want to do that to keep track of your layers. Get into a habit of doing that. That helps out when you get many layers. And that will help you greatly when it gets complicated. And then we'll click on the pen tool. And then I'll start drawing this and kind of show you uh, how I will, how I would do it. So here we go click and drag click and drag and notice I'm just a little bit there click and drag click and drag now I'm gonna hold down the option key and I'm gonna reverse pull up the handle just a little bit click and drag click and drag click and drag and as you get used to this uh, you'll know where to drag these anchor points handles click and drag now I'm going to reverse holding the option or alt key down click and drag out a handle click and drag out a handle now I'm going to hold the option key I'm using a Mac reverse the handle, pull it out. So you don't need a lot of anchor points. In fact, 
you want to only use as many anchor points as you need. That will give you smoother lines. So now I'm going to reverse here. Click, drag out, click, drag out. And now I'm going to reverse it. Option. Click, drag the handle out. Notice how I'm going opposite way. Click, drag, shape the line. Click, drag to shape the line. Reverse. Pull out the handle going the opposite direction. Click, drag. Click, drag. There's a little bit of detail here, so I want to add more of the anchor points. Click, drag. Come all the way up to this corner. Click, drag. And then I'm going to reverse. Option or Alt. Click, drag. Shape that line. Reverse it. Click, drag out the handle right there. Click and drag. This is kind of a smooth arc, so I'm just going to click and drag it out. Click, drag. Click, drag. Click, drag that handle out. Click, drag the handle out. Now I'm coming to a corner, so I'm going to click, shape it. Now I'm going to come in and reverse it. Pull the handle the opposite way. Come all the way up to about the middle. Click, drag, lay in a nice smooth arc. And I'm not too concerned about getting everything just perfect. I can take care of that later. Now I'm going to reverse this one. There's the reverse. Pull out the handle. Click, drag, and then I'm going to finish the path or close it. Get that little circle. Click, drag. Notice that it becomes warped here, but what I'm going to do is hold down the Option key and just drag that handle back up to where it should be. And that completes the outside of this drawing. Now you can see that I'm off a little bit here, but that's no big deal. I'm going to go to the Direct Selection Tool. I'll zoom in here. You can see. But I'm going to go to the Direct se Selection Tool, or the little... Um, kind of hollow arrow and what I can do is I can move those anchor points or adjust the handle so I'm gonna move this down move this anchor point down closer to my line then I'm gonna grab those anchor point handles and reshape them and I'll just go through this drawing here and kinda of show you how you can clean up your lines um, after you get done with your path that you've drawn so here we go gonna grab that anchor point and then move the handles around shape it more towards my towards the drawing itself that I'm tracing over and I'll just kinda go through and clean up and remember I'm using the direct selection tool not the regular one this is important and see I can move things around quite a bit so it's up to you how meticulous you want to be and it depends on your project too. Sometimes you need to be very precise and other times you don't need to be. In a sense you're drawing over a drawing so if your drawing looks good and uh, it doesn't necessarily have to match it exactly. It all depends though. It depends on if you're doing something more mechanical and you need the precision. Notice how I can just move those anchor points around and adjust the handles, no problem. I can also use the tool to add anchor points and delete anchor points. But right now I'm just going to show how you can reshape your anchor point handles and match your drawing pretty closely. Once I have it the way I want it, then we'll hit the uh, we'll go back to our pin tool we'll continue on drawing the inside of the Honu click and drag click and drag I'm going to reverse 
click and drag and then I'm going to come up to close this path click drag notice that it warps the first part I'm going to hold the option key or alt for PC users and then pull that handle back so that the line matches up come over to the other side click and drag in this case I just clicked and clicked again because the line was almost straight and then I'm gonna pull up click and drag and there we have our finished drawing and I'll go in and uh, fix that a little bit. I'll grab the, select the anchor point and then uh, redo the, uh, the anchor point handles so it matches better. I'll go in and clean it up a little bit more. So you need to select the anchor points. When you do that, you'll see the handles and then you can tweak those handles around and, and reshape it so it looks like the way you want it. And there we have it. We have our Honu drawing which uh, in a vector format vector drawings are extremely powerful can be used in many different ways so now you practice and see what you can do with some of your own drawings